Hey, it's Jacob Clifford. Welcome to ACDC Econ. Today is Technical Tuesday when I go over specific topics to help you in your econ class. Right now, I'm going to talk about double shifts in demand and supply. Okay, so you already know how to draw demand and supply and show how those curves shift. If you don't, then watch this video and come back. It might seem confusing to see all these curves move around, but keep in mind there's only four things that can happen to supply and demand. Demand can go down, demand can go up, or supply can go down, or supply can go up. When a curve shifts, the graph will tell you what happens to the price and to the quantity. In this case, we started right here and then the price ended up right here. So whenever the supply increases and the supply curve shifts to the right, the price is going to go down and the quantity is going to go up. Easy, right? Well, it gets a little more tricky when two curves shift at the same time. That's called a double shift. So let's say the supply increases, but at the same time, the demand also increases. So supply shifts to the right and demand shifts to the right. We started here and we ended up right here. It looks like the quantity increased and the price stayed the same, but that's not quite right. If the demand increased a whole lot, then price would have gone up. But if demand increased just a little bit, then the price would have gone down. So actually, the price is indeterminate or ambiguous. You can't tell what's going to happen to the price. But you definitely know the quantity is going to increase. And that's the double shift rule. Whenever two curves shift at the same time, either the price or the quantity is going to be indeterminate. But how can you tell which one? Well, here's a trick. The next time you have a double shift question, draw each of the shifts separately, then combine the results. So an increase in supply causes the price to go down and the quantity to go up and an increase in demand causes the price to go up and the quantity to go up. When you combine that together, the quantity definitely goes up and the price, well, you don't know. It's indeterminate. Okay, now it's your turn to practice and we're talking about double shifts, so let's use double mint gum. Man, you gotta love the 1980s. Okay. Let's say the price of peppermint, which is the main ingredient to producing double mint gum, increases at the same time that a new throwback to the 80s fad increases the demand for double mint gum. Figure out what's going to happen to the equilibrium price and quantity. If the price goes up for a key resource, then the supply is going to decrease. That means it's going to shift to the left. At the same time, demand goes up, shifts to the right. So the price is going to go up for sure, and the quantity is indeterminate. Is that what you got? Again, it's easier to separate them out. If the supply shifts left, price goes up, quantity goes down. If demand goes up, price goes up, quantity goes up. You add that together, the price is going up, the quantity indeterminate. R R Radical. The more you practice, the easier it's gonna get, and eventually you'll just see these graphs in your head. You don't actually have to draw them out. But until you get to that point, draw it out so you don't make any mistakes, all right? Until next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want me to make more for Technical Tuesday, then leave a comment below and tell me what you think. Also, take a look at my website, acdcecot.com. It has a bunch of study guides and resources to help you learn economics. If you, if you want to keep watching economics videos on YouTube, click right here for micro and macroeconomics playlists. Also, please make sure to sub, sub, subscribe. All the cool kids are doing it, and you want to be a cool kid, right? Subscribing to ACDC Leadership, you know it's pretty cool, all right? Till next time.